In this Take Corner video, I want to look at how many megapixels do you really need? In this crazy world of large number marketing where bigger must be better, we are hearing about cameras with 40, 50, 60, even 100 megapixels. There are even mobile phones currently on the market with 48 megapixel cameras. So in this video, we are going to look at how many megapixels do you really need? To answer that, we need to have a quick refresher on camera sensors. Sensors come in a variety of sizes with medium format, full frame, crop frame, and micro four thirds being the most common. There is also a mobile phone sensor, which I include here for comparison. I'm not going to talk about mobiles in this video, but just keep in mind the typical sensor size of a phone as we go through this video. So the way a sensor works is that it has certain number of pixels spaced equally edge to edge. As the sensor gets smaller, the pixels need to get physically smaller to fit the sensor. As an example, if you have a full frame 20 megapixel sensor and a micro four thirds 20 megapixel sensor, the pixels on the micro four thirds will be half the size of the full frame sensor. If they weren't, they physically wouldn't fit. The reason we care about pixel size is that as the pixels get smaller, it impacts your camera's dynamic range and low light performance. If there is enough interest, I may do a separate video as to why that is the case. But for now, you just have to trust me. So although technology and low light performance improves with every generation of sensors, this relationship still applies. This is the reason why mobile phones are so bad at taking photos at night. So although higher resolution sensors will give you larger and sharper images, there comes a point where each sensor size where the image quality starts to decline. That's why there is a market for medium format cameras. If you really need 60, 100 or 150 megapixels, you will also need a large sensor so you are not compromising the image quality as the pixels can remain large enough to give you the best image quality possible. This is why high-end professional DSLR cameras such as the Nikon D5 or the Canon 1DX are only 20 megapixels and deliver amazing image quality. The takeaway from this is larger sensor pixels result in better image quality and the more pixels you cram on a sensor, the smaller each pixel needs to be. So how many megapixels do you really need? If you are planning on only viewing your photos on a computer or digital screen, then from Full HD you only need 3 megapixels. Yes, you heard that right, 3 megapixels. A Full HD screen has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. A 3 megapixel camera has a resolution of 2048 by 1536 pixels, giving you a higher resolution at what your screen can display. Many people these days have transitioned to 4K, which is 3840 by 2160 pixels. A 10 megapixel camera will give you an image size of 3872 by 2590, which again comfortably covers the entire screen. Now let's pause here for a second and consider these facts. If you talk to anyone about the image quality of a 4K screen, they will tell you how amazing it looks. So why is a 10 megapixel camera considered outdated? If you have no intention of ever printing your images, then technically you don't need anything above 10 megapixels, especially if you only shoot JPEG and don't do any editing. So now that we are on the subject of printing, let's have a quick look at print sizes. To start, 300 dpi is considered photo quality printing. Any higher and you're just wasting ink as your eyes will not be able to see the difference at normal viewing conditions. A typical 6x4 photo is 1800 by 1200 pixels. A 3 megapixel camera will give you a higher resolution than that. Moving to an 8x10 which is the print size of a photo a model would carry in their portfolio is 3000 by 2400 pixels. That's equivalent to an 8 megapixel camera with a little room left over for cropping. Let's say you want to print something larger to hang on a wall. An 18x12 perhaps. That's only 20 megapixels and an 18x12 is a very large print. And keep in mind that the larger the print, the further away you will be standing to view it so you can actually reduce the print resolution down from 300 dpi as the print size increases. 
If you've ever seen a billboard up close, it looks more like colour noise than a photo, but view it from a distance and it looks photo quality. So even if you are producing billboard images, you really don't need anything above 24 megapixels. So now that we know these facts, why would you need a high resolution camera? Some of the reasons include ability to crop, downsampling and retouching. Cropping should be self-explanatory. With larger images, you can crop down to adjust composition or effectively zoom into the image without any loss of quality. A higher megapixel camera allows you to throw away more of your photo through cropping without any loss in quality. Downsampling is simply exporting a large resolution image to a lower resolution. The advantage is that the exported image will have less noise and appear sharper. This is also true when shooting 4K video and downsampling to Full HD, but that's definitely a topic for another video. When it comes to the world of retouching, the more pixels you have to work with, the better the retouch results will be, since your editing software has more information to work with, requiring less guesswork from the software. This is why you will find most fashion and product photographers shoot with high resolution medium format cameras. Medium format provides a sensor size appropriate for the ultra high resolution and a large pixel count is perfect for high end retouching. So how many megapixels do you need? As you can see that depends entirely on what you are planning to do with your images. You need to ask yourself how are your images going to be displayed? For most people 12 megapixels is plenty. 20 to 24 megapixels is more than enough for the majority of photographers and is a great balance point between resolution, low light performance and dynamic range. Just remember that sensor size plays a part in all this. A 16 megapixel crop sensor will give you the same image quality as a 24 megapixel full frame with the main difference being image size. So don't fall into the marketing hype of numbers with bigger must be better. Like everything in life, too much of anything is not good for you. And if you think you can just get a 48 megapixel camera phone and get the same quality you would from a full frame camera, you're going to be greatly disappointed. Thanks for watching this Tech Corner video. Please comment below with any questions. And if you found this video informative, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos.